So a little bit ago, I watched the Anti-Trekkers overview of uh, the Voyager episode Scorpion, part one and two. It was just an overview. It wasn't its full in-depth review of the two episodes. But at one point, he said that Scorpion part one was the best episode of Voyager. And I seriously was just like, what, what the fucking fuck? That's wouldn't even make my list of best episodes, let alone the best. No, no. The best episode of Voyager is timeless. But it did make me curious. So I went through the entire list of Star Trek seasons for Voyager, and episode by episode, and I wrote down all the episodes that I consider quality Star Trek. Not just Voyager, but good Star Trek episodes. That's Star Trek in general. Not just episodes that I'm able to sit through or that are okay. I specifically just wrote down the episodes that I like. No, that's actually a good episode. That's one I would recommend to somebody. And did it season by season to kind of get an idea of how many episodes per season are quality to kind of get a map of what the best seasons are. And from my findings, there's a few things that are a little interesting. Uh, for one thing, a couple of the seasons don't have the same episode numbers. Like the very first season only had 15. And so the fact that it only had four episodes that I marked down uh, makes it seem like one of the worst seasons. And it looked like it was going to hold that title until I got to season seven. That season had 24 episodes, but it only had five episodes in it that I actually consider worth a damn. From my research, Voyager is best between seasons two and seasons five. And season five is where they ultimately peak. Season five is the best season. It also happens to be the one that has what I consider to be the best Voyager episode, Timeless. It had a total of 12 out of its 25 episodes, B episodes that I consider to be like recommendable episodes of Star Trek. Uh, season four, I got 12 out of 26. Season three, I got 11 out of 26. And season two, 10 out of 26. And unfortunately, though, right after season five, it drops down to uh, only gave eight out of 26 for season six. And like I said, season seven, I only put down five episodes out of a 24 episode run. So season seven is definitely the worst season of Star Trek Voyager. I'm going to leave the full list in the description below of what episodes I'm specifically citing. There's an awful lot to go into about a lot of them. Let's maybe uh, check out a few highlights here. In season one, we got episodes like Eye of the Needle, Faces, Jatrell, which I'd probably say is my favorite episode of the first season, Learning Curve. In season two, I... Uh, I included the 37s, Twisted, Cold Fire, Prototype, Meld, Death Wish, Life Signs, Deadlock, Tuvix, and the Basics Part 1, Basics Part 2 for Season 3. Season 3 also features False Prophets, which is a, a wonderful carryover from a uh, hanging chad from an old TNG episode. Uh, both episodes of Future's End, which is one of my favorite time travel episodes of all Star Trek. Uh, Macrocosm, Fair Trade. Unity, Rise, Before and After, which I think might actually be the best Kess-themed episode, Distant Origin, where they meet the dinosaurs, Worst Case Scenario. Season 4, I have The Raven, Year of Hell, Parts 1 and 2, Message in a Bottle, Hunters, The Killing Game, Part 1 and 2, The Omega Directive, Living Witness, Demon, One, Hope and Fear. In Season 5, you got Night, Drone, Timeless, Nothing Human, Latent Image, Bride of Chaotica, Course Oblivion, Think Tank, Juggernaut, Relativity, Warhead, and Equinox Part 1. Season 6 opens up with Equinox Part 2. I also include Tinker, Tenor, Doctor Spy, Dragon's Teeth, The Voyager Conspiracy, Pathfinder, Collective, Ashes to Ashes, and Lifeline. And finally, in Season 7, the only episodes that I view as worthy of one's time are Repression, Inside Man, Flesh and Blood, The Void, and Arthur Arthur. So this is super scientific, super accurate. You will never come across 
a better Star Trek list than the one I've just laid out for you right now. And I'm going to, like I said, I'll leave the full list down in the description box below so you can look over it and maybe watch some of these episodes. Either you haven't maybe seen them before and you're like looking for a way to get into Voyager and want to like maybe start with some of the good stuff. Or if you've watched Voyager before and you want to get a, a gleaning of exactly why I think these are the best episodes, maybe you want to go back and rewatch them now. So either way, I'll leave that below and I'll talk to you all later.